we have a problem. What is it, Santa? Well, to hit the schedule on Christmas Eve, I need to leave the North Pole at quarter past eleven. But the elves don't know what that is. I know just what we'll do. What? Why don't I teach the elves how to tell time to quarter past the hour? Mm -hmm. That way, they can tell you when it's time for you to go. That would be good. Ho, 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 ho. Huh. What falls at the North Pole and never gets hurt? Oh, well, I don't know. What falls at the North Pole and never gets hurt? Snow. You didn't snow that? Oh. Oh. All right, my elves. Today we are going to. Revise how to tell and write the time to o'clock and half past. We are also going to learn how to tell and write the time to quarter past. Now it's time to get started. Now, for some bonus points on my nice list, go grab your whiteboards and markers. <laughs> Take a look at this. You know what this is. It is a clock. Now, what time is this clock showing? That's right. This clock is showing nine o'clock. The long hand, the minute hand, is pointing straight up at the twelve. And the short hand, the hour hand, is pointing at the nine. That means that it is nine o'clock. How do we write? Nine o'clock. Very good. Nine o'clock. Excellent. Now, I want you to think what shape is a clock? That's right. A clock is in the shape of a circle. Let's remember the work that we did on fractions. If I take a circle, I divide it right down the middle. How have I divided this circle? What fraction would I use to talk about one part of the circle? That's right. One part of this circle would be one half. So, if I draw a line straight down the middle of the clock. Look, the line goes from the 12 all the way down to the 6. So, half the clock stops at the 6. Let's take a look at another time on this clock. Look! Now the minute hand is pointing at the six and the hour hand is between 
between the 9 and the 10. What time is it showing on this clock now? Excellent! You remembered your work from grade 3 very, very well. If the long hand, if the minute hand is pointing to the 6, that means that the time is half past. The hour hand is between the 9 and the 10. So, it is half past 9. Now, how would I write half past 9? Well done. Half past nine is written like this. Or, if you want, you can also write it like this using a fraction. Isn't that good? I'm so proud of you. What time is the clock showing? Now, very good. Both the minute hand and the hour hand are pointing straight up. It is 12 o'clock. Let's think about our lessons on fractions again. We know that a clock is in the shape of a circle. I'm going to divide this circle again, but this time I'm going to divide it into four pieces instead of two. Think about your fractions. What fraction would one of these pieces be? Very good. One of these pieces would be one quarter. So, I have put the fraction one quarter onto the clock. Now, we can see that the one quarter finishes at the number three. So, if I move the minute hand so it's pointing at the three, what time do you think that is? The minute hand is pointing at the three and the hour hand is a little bit past the twelve. Very good. Some of you got it. When the minute hand is pointing at the three, it is quarter past. So the time on this clock is quarter past twelve. Very good. Let's try another time. Take a look. On your whiteboard, write what time you think the clock is showing. The minute hand is pointing at the three. Very good. The minute hand is pointing at the three, so we know that this time is quarter past. The hour hand is a little bit past the two. 
So, this time is quarter past two. One more. Here we go. Is it now? Write it on your whiteboard. Did you get it? The minute hand is on the three. So it's definitely a quarter past. The hour hand is a little bit past the six. So, the time is quarter past six. Fantastic! Incredible! Brilliant! Keep up the hard work! Ho, 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 ho.